What's up geeks and gamers, it's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we are talking about Nintendo and social justice warriors because uh, they are very angry, very angry that Nintendo does not repeat their political opinions and Nintendo must be cancelled. They are very disappointed in Nintendo. Now, again, if you've followed Nintendo for any significant amount of time, you know that Nintendo does not speak on political issues. It's just not their thing. It's not something they're into. Um, they never have been and this is one of the main reasons why I love Nintendo, along with the fact that they've given me all-time great games for over decades and decades now. I love Nintendo. I'm a strong supporter of Nintendo, and as much as I complain about companies in Hollywood and how they continue to pander to nonsensical politics, Nintendo is that shining star that continues to stay above all of the nonsense. Now, what is going on in the world right now? It is, it's it's hard to even process it, and it sucks. It's horrible. Um, what happened to George Floyd was terrible. Absolutely. Um, I don't support it. I don't support um, any uh, of these cops and the decisions that they made. Um, as a strong supporter of police officers and law enforcement and first responders, um, I was absolutely um, disgusted by that video, no doubt about it. Police officers are trained to uphold the law and protect the public, and those four police officers failed miserably, and I hope that they see uh, justice of the highest order. Now, everything else that's going on after that, it's crazy. Um, you know, businesses are being, you know, uh, looted and stolen from, cities are burning, it is absolutely crazy. And, of course, the first thing that these weirdos want to do is find any company that's not following the narrative of all of the other companies. So you have the Sonys, the Microsofts, you know, you have the Amazons, you have the Disneys, and they're out there virtue signaling, acting like they care. And they really don't care. They absolutely don't. Now, here we have Reggie from Nintendo of America. Um, now, this was in 2017. So just to be clear, Reggie's no longer the president of Nintendo America. Doug Bowser is. But this kind of lets you know um, the mindset of Nintendo. Reggie said says making political statements is for others to do. Nintendo wants people to smile and have fun. Boom, boom. Thank you, Reggie. And the full quote is, making political statements is for others to do. We want people to smile and have fun when they play our games. That is perfect. That is beautiful. And I love it so much. Now, if you go over to Twitter, um, Nintendo making a tweet about Xenoblade Chronicles. And of course, they show up in the comments. Come on, Nintendo, what's your position on what's happening in the U.S.? Don't stay quiet. And then people are like, they don't post about issues like that. You know, they're a gaming company. Really? Really? They're a gaming company? Yeah, really. Yeah. Go with your politics thing somewhere else. Absolutely. And Nintendo fans understand this is not what Nintendo does. They've never been about that. I love this right here. This is beautiful. Let me give the person credit that posted it, though. Um, we feel your pain during these hard times. Our company wants to assure you that we stand with you and have every intention of continuing to make a profit off of your purchases. We hereby guarantee to always do our best to publicly declare our support for whichever opinions will make you keep liking us. Because all we care about is money. Money, 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 money. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it so much. Um, there was another, there, there's more comments in here of people that are just screeching. I uh, hear, um, so why aren't you making a statement? Use your platform. Very disappointing that you aren't taking a stand. And, you know, they're a gaming company. They have no obligation to make a statement on social or political issues. Um, of course they don't have any obligations. Neither did Sony, Microsoft, Warner Brothers, and the list of countries. Or the list continues because it's the right thing to do. Nintendo of America is disappointing. Um, what a, what a soy boy, man. Oh my god. Um, oh, so now Nintendo fans are, are, uh, no, now Nintendo is pandering to, oh my god, really? Good lord. You know, this is it. This is why I love Nintendo, man. Um to the fact that the fact that this dude thinks that Nintendo gives a damn about what Sony and Microsoft say 
is laughable. Nintendo doesn't care what other companies do. Nintendo is not competing with Sony and Microsoft. Nintendo is their own brand. Nintendo does what they want. Sometimes they are a little aloof. Sometimes some of their decision making is strange and you're like, what are you doing, Nintendo? But that is why they are so great because they are off on their own. They're on their own island and they're doing their own thing. And more often than not, that results in amazing games that they give us and amazing decisions they make as a company. Yes, occasionally though, they'll do something you're like, what are you doing, Nintendo? Stop. But again, that's that's the payoff to get the greatness that they give us. Now, will Nintendo bend the knee? Look, I can't sit here and definitively say that they will or won't. I can say that they don't actively ever get involved with these things. You know, this is a this situation is is re reaching a, a fever pitch right now. It's it's crazy. And you know, when the guns get pointed on Nintendo, there is the possibility that they will bend the knee to it. I don't believe they will, but there's the possibility that they can. It depends on how loud the nonsense gets. And obviously every other company under the sun is doing this virtue signaling crap. And it is so disappointing, but it's not surprising. Um, the good thing about Nintendo is they don't actively try to get in front of this stupid stuff. They don't do the things that Sony and Microsoft and all these other companies have done by reading those garbage political statements that... Uh, it just screams virtue signaling. So we'll see what happens moving forward. But again, this is why I love Nintendo. This is why I support Nintendo. This is why I'm going to always stand by this company. You know, um, I hope they don't bend the knee. But if the if the nonsense gets loud enough, they they probably will respond if they continue to be targeted. It really just depends. Um, but I'm proud of them for not getting involved with this bullshit uh, up to this point. And we'll continue to see. But Nintendo is the company that sets the tone for everything that we are looking for. They they respect their IPs. They don't sit there and annualize things. Like, they could annualize Mario Kart. They could annualize Super Smash Bros. They could annualize all of their games, but they don't. They give you games like a Mario Kart, and it lasts for up to four or five years. You know, Smash Bros. lasts four to five years, and they put time, effort, and energy into it. And these games are fundamentally different. As much as you can sit there and say, oh, another Mario Kart, every Mario Kart is different. Every, anybody that plays Mario Kart seriously knows these games are different. The mechanics are different. Uh, everything that you, everything that comes into the racing aspect and how you utilize the items, the drifting, all of that, the shortcuts, it's all different every Mario Kart. Um, I mean, like me, I've been playing Mario Kart 8 a lot, obviously. My best Mario Kart is Double Dash. I cannot pick up Double Dash right now and play it competitively. Absolutely cannot. Because right now, you know, my mind is focused on Mario Kart 8 and the mechanics of that game. Mario Kart Double Dash is completely different, just like 64 is different, just like Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo is different, just like Mario Kart Wii is different. They're all different, and that's what's beautiful about Nintendo. So again, hope you guys enjoy this. Check out our gaming channel, Gaming with Geeks. Also, geeksandgamers.com. We are getting close to launching the new uh, geeksandgamers.com with forums, with profiles, direct message system, friends list. You'll have a personal blog. We'll have a premium membership on the website. Stay tuned to this channel. You guys like the video, comment below, share it. Have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Solo lost money. Raylos are weird. Fuck Naughty Dog. And we will talk to you later.